Welcome to the Sankofa series and today we are here at Sankofa. What does Sankofa mean, you may ask? Sankofa means to go back and get it. So today, we will be teaching you about plant families and pest control. Let's go over to our first topic. Hello everyone and welcome to chatting with some plant families with me. So you or a sibling may resemble someone in your family and just like you look like ancestors or family members, plants do the same exact thing. So here we have laid out for you about four plant families and there are literally hundreds. You may ask yourself why it is it important to learn about plant families? Well, Based on different types of plants and how you group them, you can figure out how much water they need, how far apart to be planting these items, also what pests or insects they might attract. And then also, agrobiodiversity within your growing space is extremely important for disease and pest control. So let's get into it. Okay, here we have laid out for you guys are the Brassica family, Allium, Amaranthaceae, and our nightshade. And so I'm just gonna go through a little tips of how you would go about identifying these four families if you were out and about. So with our brassica family, the leaves, these are our greens, and the leaves are gonna always be characteristic of having a central stem running up the center, and they're gonna fan out sort of like this pattern. So while this is Tuscan kale, or dino kale, as we like to call it here at Sankofa, this is curly kale, also, um, collard green and then an Alabama blue, another collard green. And each four of these leaves have that central stem. So that's for a brassica. So for allium, that's gonna be your shallots, your garlic, your leeks, um, and a green onion. And if they make you cry, it's probably a good chance of them being in the allium family. Also for our beets, for we have beets, chard, and these are really cool because they have this vibrant color. Um, pinks, yellows, and so based on that, we're able to group these together and be able to group them in the Amaranthaceae family. So nightshade. Nightshade, you may think that because the name is nightshade that these plants would perform well and not a lot of sun, that is completely incorrect. These plants, which is peppers, tomatoes, and potatoes require a lot of sun. So when you think of nightshade, please do think a lot of sun and a lot of soul. Remember how knowing your plant families can help you with pest control? Well, I'm gonna kick it over to Steve, who's gonna let you know just all about that. Thanks, Princess. So today I'm gonna to be talking about companion planting. What is companion planting? Companion planting is when you have two plants from the same or different plant families, and they do three things. Repel insects, promote the right pollinators, and repair the ecosystem. So when you have two different plants, like for example, the tomato plant and the basil plant, they're usually grown together. But sometimes the opposite of companion planting is when you have two plants that are usually not supposed to be grown together. For example, the potato plant and the tomato plant, they are not grown together because they do the complete opposite for each other in the soil. And too many things can go wrong. So those are good and bad examples of companion planting. Some bad insects are harlequin beetles, um, cabbage and cabbage moths. These are insects you don't want to see in your field and they can be identified by cabbage moths being a white little butterfly and, cap and harlequin beetles you've seen all around. They're little yellow beetles and when they get bigger they're these big black little flies. They're terrible in the field and you don't want them around. And good pollinators as you know are bees and they come around and they spread pollen. So those are, that's examples of companion planting and good and bad insects in the farm. Thank you for joining our family, our Sankofa family. And I wanna thank you two for being a part of our first episode. Um, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below which plant family you think you will be planting. Until next time, bye.